Okay, so let's see. You all were all in um, uh, Lyrelia Star Weavers um, her uh, little tailor shop, her dressmaking studio, mm -hmm. and um, you were telling her stories about New York and about the city, and she seemed very interested about the city. Um, what is the name of her? Oh, uh, the um, the the name of the shop. I I, I got to find it. I I love that. Um, <clears throat> but she's so she's kind of getting your um your costumes put together, and you all have your masks and everything. And uh, Corinne, you are the princess of pizza. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh <laughs> Dr. Park, you are the um what I forget what was your you was a doctor. It was some kind of it was it was like an Eastern kind of medicine doctor costume, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was an Eastern uh medicine doctor. And then doctor um, yeah, and and uh Morgan had a hedge wizard costume with like MC Hammer pants and stars and <laughs> blue 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 with yellow stars and and, moons, and then a hat yeah. and then the mask and Amelia had the yellow um kind of like Ninja Turtle April um April O'Neil yeah yeah <laughs> costume um and uh and then i think that liliana had kind of talked you into helping her yeah break in to the casino and uh and help help her and her assassins get this ledger of all these souls that yunaga is keeping slave or, or as indentured servants inside of her yeah. casino yeah we got a description of Inaga. Sixty looks like sixty human years. Yes, yeah, dressed 60, in flowery yeah. kimonos and very Japanese style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, some kind of a Japanophile. Yeah. Elf. And oh, she you know, um, is a very young looking sixties. What is because I have very young looking. Well, reverse reverse dog years. So she yeah. looks sixty. Five sixty around there, but she's actually like a two hundred and you know, or or sorry, yeah, yeah, like four hundred years old. Um, and so you, I think you you've all got your costumes, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then you you were kind of getting ready to do do the heist. We were, uh, yeah, we we kind of formulated a plan, I think. Yeah. Plan, it's called. That seems <laughs> unlikely for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's <laughs> that might be an exaggeration. I I know, but uh, an intent. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> we know that Corinne is gonna do the gambling me morgan and dr park were going to act as a distraction mm -hmm. i don't think we've sussed out when we're going to do the distraction mm -hmm. well so you but... did you did know that the that they were planning on infiltrating during this high stakes game yes where they're where they're going to be gambling for a large amount of souls, these different yes. groups. Uh, okay, uh, I can signal by. Uh, yeah, I've got the ring. Yeah, I've got the ring. Uh, I can signal by just slamming hard on the car on the table with my cards if I if I think I need a distraction. Because that would be, make sense. Because that was. That would be like I was frustrated or something. It would seem like I was frustrated, but it's actually me telling you is like, hey, I'm in trouble here. 
So the ring sort of reflects curses back on. It's like if, yeah. if somebody tries to hit you with a curse, then it sort of bounces back on them. Yeah. Um, and uh, the you're sort of everybody is operating under the theory that the casino is not just a numbers game, but it is somehow cursed that yeah. people end up losing their shirts no matter what. it's rigged yeah it's rigged. by magic could be it could be math it could be you know that the casino games are just meant to um but they're operating under the theory that it's magic yeah uh do we have uh did we get any time frame from when arriving to when the game was going to take place Oh, it's supposed to take place right at um, midnight. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, I guess when all the costumes are ready, and uh, we're ready, uh, yeah, I will bring my uh, my backpack. But the clothes we leave here, I think mm -hmm. we said. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I will bring my backpack as uh, to being able to bring the camera, my fireball bottles, and stuff like that. You did say like a lot of hidden pockets. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Big flowy costume with lots of hidden pockets. So I check everything uh, that I have, everything, and let's go. If you don't have anything else. Uh, I think that we should uh, filter in and um, ones or twos, no, no filter, no, no going as a group, obviously, when we come in. Hmm? Yeah. And, and Liliana, she, you know, she tells you, and remember, don't eat or drink anything in the casino and don't oh. sign any contracts. Mm -hmm. You know, don't, mm -hmm. don't make any bets that you don't, that you can't yeah. lose. No. Yeah. Not even the, I'm rules. not going to make any bets. I'm, I'm not, I'm yeah. not of gambling stop. Okay. We should, but we so, shouldn't even drink water. We, we, well, we've got, I, I've got water in my backpack. So my, yeah, water, water is okay, but, just be careful. Be, yeah. be very careful. Be on your your best guard. Yeah, and it's going to go back in the backpack when I, uh, or as I say, right in my 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 line of sight the entire time. So yeah. And she. I'm going to quench. Yeah, she brought extra bottles of water and McDonald's for all of you. <laughs> she mm -hmm. heard that you liked egg McMuffins. <laughs> Uh, so right. far, so far, she's got <laughs> careened. So, so far, the the fairy has got careened, and who's this like former uh, Detroit cop to spin around and show off a dress, which never in her wildest dreams would she do in her life. <laughs> and, and there's and, like stardust coming off of you like a fairy as you twirl right. around. And and, uh, and the right. and the other woman, Liliana, Liliana is pitting the egg and muffins. She Corrine, uh, Corrine hates eggs, but. <laughs> well, you, you could take the take the eggs off just with you know it's ham and cheese and mm. I think they're good. Well, I'll, I'll 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 see what happens and see if she looks like she's kind of hurt. If, if she's kind of hurt, I'll put it back on again. Yeah. But. Um. So it's just yeah, Liliana's just like okay, well, I'll I'll see you soon. But you know, just mm. remember to be careful and then. Just and give bias as much back, time as you can. We meet back at the ch shop, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Tomorrow. Any particular time? I mean, like, I've got some time now, but I don't want to miss my next shift. So well, I got, how many hours have I got, really? I mean, it's, is it day yeah. or night here? This is all, this place is almost like a casino itself. They, they, don't have any clock so you don't know what the time is that's passing yeah, well it's it's going to be this uh the raid is going to be at the stroke of midnight so or right around midnight there so well if it's midnight now then i've got 20 about let's say i've got 23 hours yeah okay 
before my next shift begins. Yeah. Okay. So, but it'll take me time to go up and get cleaned and so mm. on. But that's just just to know. I'm not. Mm. I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm not trying to run out of this because. Uh, but no, I, I completely understand that. Completely understand. Right. So let's let's go then. I fold my clothes neatly, hand them, uh, put them down on the pick. Uh, wave wave goodbye to the uh, pixie. <laughs> who has made this 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 wonderful suit? See you soon, Doctor Parks. Best good luck. I hope you win. I'm not going to be gab. <laughs> if if I'm alive, that is a win. If if my soul is intact, then all oh. upside apart after that. One thing is like uh, I, I'll reimburse you later on. Every bit of cash or whatever that we have on us. Uh, so I don't, so I, so that way I have uh, a good pile to, to, to gamble with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you may be able to use Venmo as well. Certainly that was what the yeah. Chinese doctor said. Okay. So that you. Uh, out of game, what the hell is Venmo? Oh, it's, it's an app on your phone that you can uh, transfer money to other people. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, he just he 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 recognized Doctor Park was from the surface, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Hey, he somehow give you a special he recognized. deal." <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> but uh, I Morgan, don't want to transfer you, anything to them to because they need a trail Morgan? back. Yeah, Morgan, Morgan? do you need to uh, prepare anything? Uh, no, I got all my spells ready and everything. I'll give Corrine 50 bucks. Is it enough? You need more? Okay. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, I, I just, I said, I figured most people just give a little bit of you know, then get a stake there. All right. And you folks can transfer. You folks can transfer money to me via Venmo, but I'm not going to transfer anything to her via Venmo. I don't want anything that they, she can trace back. So, but if it's high stakes, you perhaps have to put in. Yeah, that's why because I want a big. I want to, we we want to win back the souls, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I want a big pile of actual money. We we got the gold and stuff. We've got the gold and silver too. So yeah, as much of that can, stuff as we okay, can. Okay, yeah. Take all my loot, all the gold okay. and silver. <laughs> so, oh well, silver mainly that that I got. Yeah, okay. and then Liliana, she like you know she sees you pull out this bag of gold and silver stuff that you got from the pawn shop, and her they're like her and. Um, Lyrelia, their jaws just kind of drop. They're like, you know, get eyes that get should huge. Be, and then, that should be successful, yes. Okay. Yeah. And the, and then like Le, Le, or sorry, Liliana kind of corrects you and she says, she says, you all you have to do is just create a create a distraction. Don't worry about this winning. Um we you don't need to win. We just um we just need proof. We just need her ledger. Yeah. to expose her well what what time is it now because i've got to hold out at least long enough for you folks to do the raid it's um it's 6 p.m right now right around there that's a long yeah, time to hold out that her watch mm. that, that is what, that's a long time to hold out uh, for uh, uh there i suggest we don't game. leave for quite a while yeah. or do they have a floor show in there is it like mm. las vegas well they they have a very nice bathhouse there's the hotel. There's they do have a they have a, a dancers, um, mm -hmm. a geishas, uh, lots of entertainment. the The food is good, but don't don't eat it. No. Is there a place to buy magic items? Oh, certainly. Yes. Um. What 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 do you need, Morgan? What can we? What can I? Can I get something? Um... For you? I don't know particularly. I just I know some scrolls out in the market. I don't know mm -hmm. what they were, but I just want more spells. Basically, uh, magic rings would be cool. I I read a, a lot of fantasy novels. 
well, I guess it's reality for you. <laughs> well, you're, you're but, welcome um, to, to come back. And I mean, I can get you some spells to study, but it'll take time to learn them and master them. How much time? Oh, I mean, it could take uh, weeks, months to master a spell. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, All right. you, you hedge wizards, hedge wizards want to do want to do everything like that. Takes time. Takes time. You got to study. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it took time to learn what I got now. Exactly. Yeah. So what what kind of what kind of magic are you are you interested in, Morgan? Hmm. Evocation is pretty cool in the books I read. You know, oh, conjuring like, uh, things like fireballs and lightning bolts and stuff like that. I'll be I'll be right back. I'll get you something. Um, oh, cool! Thank you. Yeah. So she just kind of like pops out, you know, mm -hmm. for a few minutes, mm -hmm. and then comes back with um, a couple of scrolls. Um, oh, yeah. So she is going to give you. You have ways. You have water ball, and then you have um, what's your other spell? You uh, have? Aqua. I have aqua flash bulb and shield. Okay, so she brings you impello, and um, she brings yeah. you. So you can you can combine impello with flash bulb mm -hmm. to make fireball. And then Ooh. she brings you, um, what's the other one? Uh, a, a weir light. Yeah, she brings you weir light mm -hmm. and impello. So, so you combine you combine those, and those are both like first level, first order spells. And then you combine those to make a fireball. Oh, neato! Thank you. I'm I'm gonna give her some silver. Oh, thank you. These are very nice. And it's like you Thank just you hand her a spoon. Nice. <laughs> just like a, just some kind of junky little thing. She's very impressed. <laughs> um, so it's okay. Well, we just all you need to do is just buy us some time. Just mm -hmm. create a distraction. Don't worry about winning. I mean, if if everything goes as planned, then you should you should just win by having the ring on. Um, mm -hmm. But but any kind of a disruption that you can cause. Just to buy us some time and a in a good distraction. At midnight will do. I promise you. Good. Okay. Well, we'll see you soon. We'll all we'll all meet up here in a few hours. We'll we'll see you in the morning. Yeah. See you in the morning. All right. Uh, so she yeah. So she she takes off. And oh well, uh, really, yeah. You're saying yeah. you can. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind car killer. What's that? Oh, I was just trying. I was looking at if if she's going to be getting that easy getting this, this stuff. <laughs> I was looking. At oh, spell. you want you want a spell? Yeah. If yeah. you ask her for like a low level scroll, she'll get it for you. A low level spell. Uh, is second order, or do I need to go first order? Um, I would say yeah, first first or second order, either two. Two first order or one second order? Because you you wouldn't even know what to do with anything higher than that anyways. Yeah. yeah, I'm practically drooling over my scrolls. I'm reading yeah. them. Okay. <laughs> but it's like uh, in the... How, how about books, uh, um... Noisemaker and Sierra Obscura? That's the yeah, first yeah. level. And they were both yeah. off by the my they were both off of both of my trees. So yeah. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, but yeah, like in the in the books, Mike, like it the it takes um like months of practice or or I mean yeah. weeks or months yeah. to man master a spell. Yeah, I'm just like looking at the looking what goes into it, studying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, seeing what's like have. To do. like you need to just keep doing the same the same thing over and over and then it like it never works the first time yeah mm -hmm. figured 
I don't want to be close when you try it out the first time. <laughs> I'm going to go out in the countryside. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not start a forest fire. I'm not going to be in any trees or anything like that. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, you could easily start a forest fire with Impel and real yeah. light. Yeah, well, go out in the snow. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of that. Yeah. Okay. What time to get now after he went off and got the stuff and came back? Oh, um, just, you know, say that it didn't take her too long, just a little while, but it's still okay. kind of early evening, you know, or yeah. I mean, not early evening, but mm. yeah, like still around like 6 or 7 p.m. So you still got some time to kill, but um, uh, if, you, if you do want to go shopping, you can go shopping. I suggest well, we're already, we might want to. We're already closed, so I want to, I want to stay out of sight till we're, we get in there, I think. Personally, yeah, yeah, we yeah. might want to take a rest before we go in too. I mean, we've been up yeah. for a while. Yeah, I also to... want to uh, kind of observe what kind of people are entering the place and how oh, much, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and like see if there's back like side doors, uh, how mm -hmm. the security looks, if they carry weapons. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, because I've had my uh, like making my living the way I do I know that bodyguards and security and can be kind of mm -hmm. iffy and they have batons and they have loads of stuff mm -hmm. so um, uh, do you want to give me a stealth roll well, I'm just assuming that you're. Do you want to be stealthy, or are you just yeah, yeah, I want to be stealthy. Uh, I want to like get a general, uh, general idea of security and see if there are any side doors. Uh, also, like if the security is more like laid back, if they look aggressive in their body language and stuff like that. But I right. will roll a stealth. 60. Let's see here. 10. Yeah, too bad that's not. Or no, it is. A, that's a hard. It's a yeah, hard. It's hard, yeah. yeah. So, um, so yeah, you, you're you ninja, you know, not quite, but um, you... Inconspicuously you, yellow. Yeah, as mm -hmm. you're, so as you're walking around, right, you're kind of casing the casino. Yeah, And um, it just, this tunnel kind of curves around and it just keeps going. And it's like, they have dug out this, you know, the, 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 the river or this underground, you know, sewer thing yeah. turns into like an, like not a legit river, but it's big. And then there's, you know, you see these, um, cherry blossoms kind of growing alongside and then there's the you know the the petals falling from these cherry blossoms and it's clearly enchanted you know the, the water is just like sparkling and there's this smell of cherry blossoms in the air but it does have that kind of fake smell yeah. like the um uh what do, you, what do we call it LaCroix like LaCroix cherry blossom yeah yeah um and then um you're seeing a lot of a lot of elves um but then there's also like other kind of um they races like you see there's like for lack of well like goblins and um like just other you know uh other kinds of like what look to be like more kind of advanced like the trolls like that you met before yeah. kind of like more advanced in like their their stages of like you know growing horns and stuff like that and um there's uh um as you're kind of like looking for entrances and exits and stuff there are alongside the river or this big stream i guess there are um 
spirits that seem to be sort of rising up out of the river mm -hmm. and then coming into an entrance um, along the side of the casino. So like ghosts, they look mm -hmm. like they're sort of just walking around. Um, and that's the first time that you've seen that. Like you haven't seen any of the like spirits kind of oh. walking around the marketplace. Um, and then they're kind of helping them in. And then there's like these security guys, like like elf guys that have the masks on. And then they're dressed in like kind of kimono or not kimono. Um, yeah, I guess it is a kimono. Yeah. Kimono is unisex. Um, but they're they're they have like samurai swords on their sides. Mm -hmm. And then I think if you're looking a little bit closely, you might see one of them has like a nine millimeter, you know, in the side like kind of tucked in as he leans over to help a ghost out of the a spirit out of this river and lead yeah. them up into the casino and um and they're like welcome welcome you know welcoming everybody in and everybody's dressed pretty extraordinary yeah everybody's dressed pretty extravagantly like the especially these elves like it looks like most of the the elves around here are kind of like a sort of upper upper crusts like she she mm -hmm. kind of rich mm -hmm. like they've traveled a lot of them seem to be in high spirits um and it's it, right now it is the it's the winter solstice and yeah so and and there you recognize the different courts like they're talking about oh there's the summer court and the autumn court and the spring court but it's mostly these white you know mostly these the winter court most of these elves they're wearing are these there kind much of white. people uh that would be defined as commoners or like pe gawkers that like yeah yeah there's a lot there's a lot of um i mean there's a lot of humans too yeah just regular humans and then they're kind of just doing their thing but they seem to be sort of keeping like there's some people down here that look like well homeless people you yeah know? like tunnel tunnel people but they and aren't they, chased away no they're not they're they're not letting them they're like sort of stopping them and like you know yeah. are you are you here to gamble you know or are you it's like we can show you to to the the slot machines you know yeah. or whatever like you can't you can't stay or you know like maybe see one guy get escorting another Oh, like a homeless person out who was using the bathroom or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do they look? Uh, do they look aggressive or just firm? That's my last question. I guess firm, very. Firm. Uh, I guess polite but firm. Yeah. This is boggling. Are you seeing all this, you you guys, or is it just mm -hmm. me? It's not just you. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite, stuff, quite uh, extraordinary. Mm -hmm. uh, Welcome to the nine. hidden world. <laughs> like I said, uh, and so many of them look look so rich. I mean, I guess if you've got, if a spoon will is worth a thousand dollars, then you can have. It. How does the economics work? How does sort of interchanges there with the world? I, I don't understand how Above. economics works works with us, so don't ask me to explain how it works with them. <laughs> I work I work my ass off without getting anything, so yeah, uh, really remarkable. So I, I mean, I'm I'm kind of stunned. I'm walking around, jaw. So everybody, yeah, everybody, too. everybody has actually gone into the the casino now. Is that what we're, what we're saying? Well, I think so. I think Amelia was kind of scouting out. Yeah. Before mm -hmm. I, I was, I was on the outside. I, I've not gone in yet. When I oh, when yeah. we go in, I think we ought to go in together or with oh, cool. with our plan. Yeah, with our plan. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I would I, I would say like. Wonder in and ones and twos, but we're close together, you know. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. I mean, like you know, have a, a one little group between us and the net, uh, 
one of our groups have another I have a little, some other people in between but weren't the other uh, people on the map and still see the first group and push it over if they need to that sort of thing like that they stick out like sore thumbs no not at all um okay. in fact like dr park as you're kind of walking along you know just in the marketplace you see some there's like some kids that look like they're little uh little goblins and they're kind of running around playing with fireworks um and then they just kind of like bump into you you know throwing like fireworks throwing little popper things on the ground and then they're like oh you know excuse me sir and, and kind I'm, of bumble off I'm immediately, you know. I'm immediately checking my backpack make sure that's none of the stuff on the outside of it has been lifted yeah yeah i mean always alert for pickpockets this is standard yeah. new york procedure <laughs> mm -hmm. well they they're small enough that they just bump into your shins Oh, right. Okay. And then kind of the, all they know. could steal is my is my shoelaces. Then right. <laughs> they're they're small, like goblins are small, and then they're also ch children goblins, so they just kind of Less. bump off your shins. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have uh, having sensible shoes is important. So, uh, but walking up towards the entrance, like. Mm. Uh, just so you know, my distraction will be, uh, I will pour fireball over me and smell really drunk, and I will bump into things. If there's a pyramid of champagne glasses or something, I will crash it, because I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Perfect time. Seriously. I have never wanted to do that. <laughs> I will be just looking around to, to see if security is arriving. And if they do mm -hmm. seem to arrive, I'm not sure I'm going to delay them. But um, maybe I can say quick they went that way. But um, I, w I, was think I was wondering if I should be associated if, with, with Amelia, if we should walk in together in terms of ones and twos and so on. But I think yeah. I'm very much not interested in being associated with someone flaming drunk um crashing no, around would, uh, not uh, not already i will be that later yeah are you managing to take some photographs of this oh, extraordinary I will, I will world def definitely try i will definitely try until until someone tells me i'm not allowed to because mm -hmm. uh it's not like we three me park and uh morgan are trying to be inconspicuous right I don't they think I can be us. inconspicuous. I mean, I'm just wandering around. Yeah, and mm. but they Stunned. noticing us, they noticing us mm. isn't a problem. That's what Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Apparently and if not. I if I uh like this, shield your eyes. If I wave my yeah, hand like yeah. this, uh, yeah. it, it's going to get very goddamn bright. Mm -hmm. And again, cards right. down on the table, cards down on the table, slam real hard. I mean, I need help. Yeah. That's when I'll set it off. Yep. Earlier we were being oh, followed no. <laughs> and none of us none of us noticed. Can I just check whether we're still being followed by anyone? And yeah, sure. First roll of the day. Oh, 82. I see nothing. 32. Yeah. <laughs> 32. <laughs> Do I see anybody? Um, that's not quite a hard. Um, so I think as you're you're kind of walking along, you know, like you're headed towards the casino, mm -hmm. you see another one of these kind of guys who looks like a sort of dressed like a ninja, <laughs> you know, and that's he's true. like it's, it's almost like they're you know flanking seeing like you you catch a side glance like they're mm -hmm. watching to see if you're heading towards the casino but that's is that Liliana's people it like it looks Hopefully. yeah it look like they look like they're you know dressed in kind of like the the like the black kind of like hooded thing with like the bulk like where they can pull up their face you know or, or their mask or whatever 
and uh, mm -hmm. like just the same as kind of as like Liliana, and then kind of like flanking you, like walking alongside through the marketplace. Um, but you you catch a side glance, like they're kind of watching you. That's cool. As long as they're on our side, I don't mind. Uh, suggestion, Corinne, check where the game is going to take place. Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go up to um, I just catch one of the, the girls that's walking around with the uh, bringing back the drinks or it's or or, or taking taking the chips or whatever back to the uh wherever the, the cage and say mm -hmm. uh, uh i understand there's a high stick high stick games game and i like a pot a big thing kind of jingle it uh what time is it and where is it oh so okay so you're going up to the cage yeah to like to like get chips uh, not yet. I'm just asking. I'm asking what, I, actually, I'm not even going up to the cage. I'm I, I'm going to snag a girl going back up, or a uh, girl or guy, whatever, uh, that's uh, taking the money from the tables up to the cage and say, hey, uh, I heard there was a high-stakes game. Got some money. Uh, uh, I think it's taking place around midnight. Uh, where do I go to, to get in? Oh, she kind of looks at you like like you, uh, one of the the dealers, like a blackjack dealer. She like she kind of mm -hmm. looks at you like, oh, um, well, I I I don't really know anything about that. If you're looking for the high stakes tables, they're they're that way. Um, okay. I I need to get going now. So okay, okay. Uh, well, I give the a name of the the woman. It's like I think. Uh, let's see. I think uh, 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 Naga Saldan is going to be. Uh, uh, I said Unaga. Yeah, yeah. I think Unaga Saldan is the one that's going to be the. Uh, uh, it's her table, I should think. Oh, Unaga. Unaga's mm -hmm. personal personal game. Yes. Yes. Oh. Um... It comes highly recommended. Oh well, t from what I understand, it's invitation only. But um, well, I'll, I'll make I'll drop a name if they don't let me in. That's fine. But if they do, I'll get in. Well, she should be somewhere. She should be somewhere around here. Um, what's your What's okay. your name? Can I tell her if I see her that you're looking for her? Uh, Jones. Okay, Jones. Yeah, I'm not giving okay. first names. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you. My name's Chalia. Hey, how are you doing, Chalia? Hey, okay, it looks I'll, like a nice I'll, place I, you got here, but I'll let you. I'll let you go. I know you got stuff to do. Right. Well, if I see her, I'll tell her that you're looking for her. Um, okay. Right. Best of luck. And happy, happy solstice. Happy solstice to you too. Yeah. So she kind of takes off, and uh, but you, there is like you do see a cage. Like if you want to get chips, yeah, yeah. Well, right now I'm just going to wander around and uh, uh, see what take a look, see what, what tables they have. Um, mm -hmm. If indeed you said they got some dancers, I'll stop and watch those for a while. I make yeah, so time. make it clear that I'm killing time, you know. Right. So in the in the front of the casino, it's mostly like um, uh, what do you call it um one armed bandits you know yeah and um and then they do have like a kind of like a stage show and there's just their um elf elfin women that are kind of doing like traditional dances and stuff and then they have these instruments that are like sort of floating like nobody's playing them they're just sort of playing themselves um and I'm watching uh, that. kind of blase about please. that now you know i mean i would have been impressed a couple of hours ago uh, please yeah. tell me their please tell me their uh their um uh tambourines and trumpets uh tambourines but no trumpets 
just like a little, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, but the, um, the, there's like, it's like string instruments that are like playing themselves, you know, and they're in there and you recognize the tune. It like, it sounds like flock of seagulls. It's like, and I ran. <laughs> I ran <so> <laughs> as, as long as it's not the Star Wars uh, bar song. Yeah. They don't have any woodwinds, so that would not work well. well so yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no woodwinds, just like string instruments. And then like maybe a little tambourine that's shaking. On its own. This is so weird. I would never get this used is to so this. Cool. I'd love I this. Never. But I don't know shit about magic or anything. I mean, like I told you before, I'm a believer and I have seen ghosts, but like this is. 600% and don't quote me on the math but this is 600% weirder than anything I've ever seen and I honestly like I had the I had the like imagine I imagined that magic was rare and taxing but like wasting magic on playing instruments it's just weird right yeah if it's real if it's not some great trick i mean looks real to me it it's just they could have a mixture of they could have a mixture of the real stuff and the fake stuff. I mean, you know, I mean, you can do uh, uh, instruments uh, floating in the air, with, you know, very easily. You know, mm -hmm. uh, using yeah, fake I, magic. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to debunk it or anything. I just, oh, no, I, I'm saying just maybe like, like a combination of the two. You save energy for the real stuff and do the horror tricks, yeah, fake stuff. Well, look at the strings on these guitars are vibrating. So so as you're kind of looking around in the casino, the it looks like part of it may have been or what it looks like it was grown. Like they're they're like sort of living trees mm -hmm. inside of here. And then they have like little um bulbs that are sort of glowing, you know, for lighting and stuff mm -hmm. like that, like coming off of them. Um and uh the the architecture like the the beams and stuff mm -hmm. they aren't sort of they aren't nailed into the trees or whatever it seems like it's sort of like like japanese joinery where there's no nails you know it's just like they just slap together mm -hmm. kind of elaborately this is so weird do i see any other humans here Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of humans like playing the slot machines. Oh, okay. Yeah, and there's like and they're nicely and, dressed and everything. Ev yeah, everybody is dressed at least like nice enough to be in here. You know, mm -hmm. um, you don't you're not seeing any of the kind of like homeless like tunnel people that you were seeing outside. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. And then some people are dressed pretty elaborately, like wearing kind of elaborate costumes. Mm. Like there, there are people that look like the Ren Fair kind of crowd. Yeah. Mm. Do I see any famous people, or any people that I recognize? I, I, I would imagine that I have kind of good knowledge about what, like, tabloid people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Would I, say... I, I, it's not like like I'm staring, but just a casual look. Do I see anyone that I recognize? Yeah, um, I would say do a um, what do they call it? It's uh, I want to say search, but it's not search. Um, oh, observation. Observation. Yeah. yeah. 
63 out of 60. So... Do I want to push that? You can burn. I mean, if you want to burn. Yeah, I'll I'll burn uh, three luck so I get uh, 60. Yeah. Um. So you see there's like a group of, um, uh, <clears throat> you know, a group of people that are kind of like standing on a balcony mm -hmm. kind of up above this, you know, up above the rabble that are down there playing the one-armed bandits. And you recognize like a celebrity chef, but not like um, like Gordon Ramsay. Like you see like Gordon Ramsay up on the <laughs> camera. Click. Yeah. Not, but. Yeah. Click. If you would have pushed it, if you would have pushed it and then rolled it and failed, I would have said that you, somebody saw you take a picture. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just happy with a picture. This is money. Money. <laughs> yeah, Gordon Ramsay standing there with some elves. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, he's like drinking a glass of champagne and looks pretty happy, Ooh. you know, to be here. That is bad. Don't drink the champagne, Gordon. And he's got like a kind of like a white flowy robe on you know this Ooh. is oh yeah oh yeah uh also moving i'm moving in among the slot machines and just checking the layout uh are there any pyramids of champagne glasses or anything <laughs> There's no. a bar. <laughs> there's a bar. Yeah, there's a bar. Yeah, but we're not supposed to drink anything, so... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm I'm just spending, like, making time go, and I'm gawking at everything. Mm -hmm. Um, You do see that a lot of the, like, walls seem to be made out of some kind of paper like a rice mm. paper or something mm. like that so sort of like if you wanted to fall through a wall you could probably do that <laughs> probably also well that yeah no i shouldn't set fire to the walls that might be bad yeah they look flammable the yeah. whole place looks flammable because it's all made out of wood yeah not not fire Falling through walls is better. Yeah, yeah. So, Corinne, did you say you were getting chips? As it gets closer to the time, I will... Um, I'll get some uh, chips. Uh, I'm going to take a look and see what the uh, uh, other humans are, how many ships they're getting for what, uh, you know, for how much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so... Are they giving like money? The... Are they giving, giving silver? What are they giving? And if so, how much are they getting? Well, basically, try to see what the exchange rate is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the... Um, <clears throat> uh, if you're Kind of like at the cage you know where people are mm -hmm. exchanging money like getting chips mm -hmm. um there's people that are like you you know where they've got mm -hmm. maybe like a ziploc bag that's full of mm -hmm. like jewelry you know and stuff mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. and then there's other people that seem to be they're using like um coins that you don't mm -hmm. really recognize that are you know looks like some kind of currency that they're using that down here, you know, like maybe these ducats that you've heard about. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm like, I said, I'll pay attention to what seems to be the exchange rate so I don't get gypped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, then the in the direction where the the blackjack dealer kind of pointed you, there's more like tables, like more, you know, different kinds of games. There's like um, pachinko and, you know, other like blackjack tables and um, uh, like the, the, the cheap five, you know, nickel slots are in the front and then the, mm -hmm. the higher stakes stuff is in the back, mm -hmm. like towards further in, you know? Yeah, I'll get just, like I said, a, a low level amount of um, uh, stuff just so I can be feeding stuff in there uh, periodically. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna wander around and go back to the slot machines, uh, and just uh, again, kind of make it make sure it looks like that. Where it's obvious that I'm just killing time. You know, not not that I'm chasing down the joint. I'm just waiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So people are actually gambling with coins down here. Yeah. Like there, there's no. You don't see like they don't have paper. They're not like putting dollar bills into the slot machines. They're they're gambling with like actual like nickels and quarters and dimes. Oh, mm. yeah, in the front, like in the front of the casino. I'm not trying any of that. I'm just looking around and sort of trying to get a sense for what risk there may be here. I'm. Uh, I'm torn, you know, I want to get into the feel of it. I really want this, but at the same time, I, I mean, I can't forget about the peril, which is um, lurking here. And that means I'm not quite enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. But um, I want to make sure that we guys are all all right. And I've never been much into gambling anyway. It's always felt kind of, uh, I mean... I'm not a Las Vegas person. To me, the world outside, the market, the market is, I mean, that's a happy kind of situation, but a casino is kind of a dark thing for me anyway. Yeah, it's a trap game. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Mm. It's about, it's it's not like um what do they call it? A gaming shop where people go to play games together, which I've heard exist, although I never had time for it. <laughs> yeah, the house Whereas always Honest wins. game. Yeah, the house always wins in a casino, so it's... Um... It's not a chess club, it's... Yeah, it's... It's for milking fools of their money, generally. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or their souls, apparently, in this case. Apparently. Yeah, they uh, play do... for keeps here. I, I do... might sit in I might sit in for a few hands at a, a black uh, blackjack uh, table just playing very, very conservatively. You know, uh, you, you hit on this, you don't hit on that, not change it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. How many how so... many how many decks of cards are they uh, um uh, uh, or how many decks are they using for the blackjack to avoid counter um, card <clears throat> counters? Um, so as you you know you get closer to the blackjack table, um, you know you see there's these dealers and they're they're using but they're using chips. Like the the gone are the nickels and dimes and you know quarters. Yeah, They're actually awesome. using like wooden chips that are kind of elaborately yeah. carved. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Presumably, and, what uh, I got, presumably some some of what I got there at the uh, cage, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay, but so let's let's play that out. So so you go to the cage, right? And then you you pull out this bag of the jewelry. Uh, right? I'll. Um... I'll pull out what I deem to be the least. Uh, I, I'm gonna, like I said, I've been watching to see what people are pulling or putting in there and what they're getting back. I'll do. I'll pull out what I deem to be the least 
valuable piece. Uh, and so how many chips can I get for this? And if it looks like they're uh, going to try to to uh, uh, shortchange me, I'll just take it back, say no. And then Do you know how much up. is it's worth? Again, I've been watching the people uh, that are doing stuff like what we're doing, several of them, to try to get an idea of what the average exchange rate is. So, so what do you? Will I get it exactly right? No, I, I, I imagine it'll probably be whatever that they think that they think they can get yeah. away with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, but like you're just you're just grabbing something out of your bag of jewelry. Uh. You, yeah, I'll grab. You, I'll you grab, said you I'll, guys. Yeah, yeah, you said you guys spent like around like five hundred bucks, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. in the yeah. shop yeah. on jewelry, yeah. just grabbing yeah. random stuff. Um, yeah, but I, I'm gonna grab the least. Uh, uh, what I what I need to be the least valuable of the pieces. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll, wearing... I guess I'll I guess I'll let them see. I guess, I guess I'll let them see that I have some other things there, so maybe they won't try to. Uh, maybe they'll think, well, if we don't cheat her now, maybe she'll bring stuff back, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll go up there, pull that out. Okay, what can I get for this? How many chips can I get for this? Yeah. So uh, say you you pull out something, you know, from this Ziploc bag full of jewelry. Yeah. Right. Very, mi silver, very minor sir, piece. Sil yeah, silver and gold. Very, and very stuff minor piece. Yeah. A few gems or something, you know. And then yeah. the... the um a person at the the cage kind of like pulls out one of those little monocle things mm -hmm. and then sort of like takes a look at it and like plays up the whole thing of you know like oh you know very nice very nice and kind of you can tell that they're being um a little bit facetious just like and then you know it it's hands the you, yeah it's the mm -hmm. yeah they're they don't really care they're not paid to enough to really care too much how much this stuff is worth because the casino wins no matter what anyways mm -hmm. um then she kind of hands you like a you know a pushes over a pile of chips and it's a decent sized and does know, it seem pile. in line with what the other people are getting yeah yeah in fact um it seems like kind of generous um like um oh um, okay all right they're gonna like you yeah like if you give them like a little, you know, like a wedding band or something, mm -hmm. that you get a decent pile of chips for a wedding band, mm -hmm. um, like enough to keep you gambling for a while, basically. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy wearing my my medicine man robes. I haven't worn something like like this. Yeah. And it, it seems I'm unlikely to lose my soul for sort of wearing them with style. So I'm going to practice walking up and down and swishing the robe <laughs> as I turn and having my hands in the capacious sleeves and so on. I've never worn something like 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 that. Uh, I try to see if I can catch someone getting thrown out mm -hmm. like uh i head over to the bar uh and will try to not draw any attention to myself uh but like what i want to see is how drunk do you need to be to get approached by security and the <laughs> best <laughs> Best way uh, place to be do that is definitely the bar. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hanging yeah. around there and see if if there is anyone visibly drunk, and then kind of follow them to see at which stage do security approach. Mm -hmm. And I mean, yeah. we have a couple of hours, so that is mm -hmm. what I want to do before. Mm -hmm. It's time. Mm -hmm. But you're all you're all kind of separated, right? Like you're yeah, all just yeah. kind of doing your own thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um kind of with an eyesight. Is anybody else gambling? No. Uh, I'll I'll 
cash a ring in just to hit the slot machines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dead and then in. if you if you did have any change on you, like just mm -hmm. say, like you could do a luck roll and then see how much change you have in your pockets. Um, you can sit here and gamble with like quarters and nickels and dimes, you know. There's no penny okay. spots, but there's Oh, no luck. Yeah. So you need to, I guess you need to cash in one of your pieces of jewelry. Yeah, I kind of figured I was going to do that anyway. Yeah, but you do see that there are people that are just kind of like hanging out in this. And then they also, as they're sitting there gambling, they're bringing them drinks. Like there's, there's mm -hmm. like cocktail waitresses coming back and forth and you know, coming back and forth from the bar and yeah. bringing people drinks, and as long as they're sitting there gambling, I I roll ninety five. I evidently I clean myself out to give Corin my change. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah. So, but mm. but Corin, as you're, you know, you, you don't feel like you're getting gypped, basically. You know, mm -hmm. when you, when you give, like, they give you a decent pile of chips for every, any piece of jewelry that you give them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, uh, I'll go find a blackjack table, uh, since, uh, and like I said, uh, uh, I play it very conservatively, you know, you get, uh, that you definitely hit on, um, you get to, like, 16, 17, you don't hit anything. Uh, I mean, you you don't get you don't ask for another card, etc. I'll play very conservatively on this, uh, and uh, also again, how many decks of cards do they have in the stack? I'm trying um, to see if this works like I'm trying to see if this works like a a casino, you know, a, a real casino in the up world would have at least probably three stack three decks of decks of cards. To keep card counters four. Okay, all right. Six sometimes now. Okay, really? so four, four to six. Yeah, okay. If if they have three or less, there and uh, and they're doing okay, something's going on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, they're you know they're um. Uh, they do that thing where every once in a while they come in with a fresh deck mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like the pit boss comes by and then hands mm -hmm. the dealer like a fresh deck and then they they there's like a little slot in the middle of the table and mm -hmm. the um one of the like the security guys like come will come by and like like cut it in half you know and then it mm -hmm. like they just shove it down a little thing in the middle of the the table mm -hmm. you know and then, and then every once in a while, the dealer, like, you know, okay, that's my time. I'm done. And then they'll walk off and then the, the, the dealer will change. Yeah, so, uh, the dealers are all fey, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, they all, they all seem to be elves. That's right. And then they're, they're dressed in these, um, you know, uh, kimonos that seem to be like uniforms kind of. Yeah. For the casino. But it does seem like they're changing the decks fairly often. And then the dealers are also changing out fairly regularly. So probably rotating. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as you, so as you're playing, right, um, mm -hmm. you see, like, every once in a while, you'll hear, like, woo, and then somebody will hit, like, big, mm -hmm. and then they, you know, get a, a big pile of chips, and then the dealer mm -hmm. is, they, um, you know, they congratulate them, and they're like, like, oh, mm -hmm. you, you're a big winner, and, uh, and the, um, uh, <clears throat> but they don't they don't seem to make like too big of a deal of it like they'll do the thing where the dealer hits till 21 you mm -hmm. know and uh and then like he's 
some people who know, look like they know what they're doing, like, like, okay, give me a split. Give me another split. Yeah. And then they hit big and get that big pot of mm -hmm. chips. Um, but if you're playing kind of conservatively, you know, mm -hmm. um, you actually are losing right now. Like you lose a few hands. Is it in line about about how often of the few times I have actually gone gambling in a place like this? It's like, is it about online probably with what I would be losing up up world in a regular casino or does it not, the odds seem skewed? No, it seems like you're losing. Like you, you're noticing that the people around you, a lot of them are winning and then, wow. and, and you're losing. So it's almost like this ring, if it was supposed to make you win and win and win, it's like mm -hmm. having the opposite effect. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Maybe this, the whole point of these early tables is to, is to sort of give people a little bit of money back so that they feel they're winners and they're encouraged to up their stakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that that's that's pretty cool um, yeah it's devious but cool yeah okay false sense uh, of security make them think they're gonna actually win everything yeah yeah okay. you need, to, you need for, to lure them in yeah for, i mean it's uh, like when you put pool hustler yeah or whoever he'll lose the early games low stakes before he starts to get lucky Oh yeah. how I don't know how I managed to do that. Gee, that was yeah, that was a bit uh, for, fortunate. For, for a few hands, I'm <laughs> gonna take off. I'm gonna like just I'm not gonna make a big deal of it. I'm gonna do kind of underneath the table. Uh uh and uh I'll I'll uh, signal for the bets. Uh uh do, does the do the odds change? Yeah, it's like almost immediately. Like you take you take your ring off, you know, just put it in your pocket, and then mm -hmm. um, the it's like almost immediately you start winning again. Okay, so it's magical winning. Oh, isn't that nice? But it's fucking devious, is what it is. I'm going to go check out the slots over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got some tips. Well, if, if there are tokens, if whatever they eat. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'm still going to continue playing conservatively. I'll do it without the ring. I think I can stretch that out with two hours by playing with that size of chips by playing very conservatively. Yeah. Until you've accidentally won more money than is on the table, then you. Yeah, you're starting no, no, to no. actually get get a little pile going, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, what I'll do is periodically I'll I'll uh, slip the ring back on and lose a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and again, underneath underneath the table, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you see um, the. Uh, what you know, some of some of these people are like, you know, we're winning, we're winning, and then um, uh, maybe a like a uh, an attendant, you know, one of these like pit boss guys will come by and be like, hey, would you be interested in a, would you be interested in going to one of the higher stakes tables? You seem like you're doing pretty well, <laughs> and like mm -hmm. sort of usher them off to another, you know, another table. Mm -hmm. The cursed you, table. You, you probably need to take that ring off because you don't want mm. to. If it's magical, well, yeah. anti curse is if if it's a blessing. Working on the tables, you will probably. People will start to wonder, like, yeah, why you're not winning? Already, why aren't you winning yeah. when? Yeah, uh, that's yeah, that's probably, yeah. yeah. They uh, might notice rings disappearing and reappearing too. Well, no, I'll, and I'll wonder like, why. I, I, I've changed. I've changed my mind. It's like, I hate this thing. I think this is. I don't think this is full. Uh, I don't think this is really gold. I think this is copper. 
Yeah, like it's irritating my hand. So periodically I'll slip it off for a second, but that's you know, that, that they'll be upset if I if I lose it. So put it back on again. You need to be invited to go to a better table. And so the best way to do that is to win. And then you'll so naturally will, get it. Yeah, so I'll leave the ring off for a off. while. I should be winning, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's like, you know, you're the basically the the dealer is losing like the dealer keeps losing because mm. they um uh you know uh they'll they'll keep breaking 21 like they'll yeah. keep they'll keep hitting until they hit 21 and then they're they're losing the majority of the time mm. so it's like everybody else at the table is winning mm. okay. and then some people are kind of playing the system you know where they're like they're like okay split it again you know and do it again yeah well, I, some I people to... might sorry okay. i'm just saying it's better better to be invited to go to the higher tables yeah, rather than trying to so, sort of yeah. yeah so the uh yeah that is basically all i'd all like like i got a cheap ring and it's irritating my finger uh and if i just take it off okay uh the uh yeah when I, if i get invited to a higher table i'll be a little bit more um Ag what aggressive depending on how, what the time is so when do, do i get invited to a higher a higher stakes table and uh how close to midnight is it yeah so say that you're you know you're just losing mm -hmm. like it's like when you're in the casino it's like you lose track of time it just mm -hmm. they you know they not here but in real casinos they like pump in oxygen and they <laughs> they, they want to keep you there as long as possible i've got to i've um, got to watch on i've got to watch on so i'm just gonna i just i'll have my hands on the table to where i can just see it yeah so you know this is going on for a while and then you start to get a kind of a substantial pile of chips going mm -hmm. and then um your you know your dealer changes and they were like you know that's it that's my time i'm done here remember to tip your dealers and then the, you know, they, they cut the deck of cards in half, come in, cut, and then you see that you've got a, a good pile of chips going. And they're like, oh, we've got a winner, winner here. And, mm -hmm. um, and then the, like the pit boss kind of comes by and, uh, like whispers in her ear mm -hmm. and then, and, and she like nods back at him and, and he sort of looks at your pile of chips and then mills around. Um, and, uh, well, what, what are the, what are the rest of you doing right now? Amelia, you're just kind of hanging around. Others. Well, I'm playing slots until, you know, I win a certain amount, if, assuming I do win. And then I'm just gonna, you know, use all my chips they gave me up. Basically, yeah. uh, collect my winnings if I want anything and keep an eye on the others. Yeah. So the slots, but the slots are all, they're all like just playing with change. They're literally playing with change. Yeah, yeah. And, um, but, you know, like they, the the cocktail waitresses come by and they're like, can I get you anything to drink, sweetie? Um, uh, no, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let me know. I'll, you know, I'll be around. And like, just all keep right. coming, coming by and keep trying to get you to drink something, you know? Um, and the... Uh, <clears throat> and then you see like there's like like a goblin couple next to you and they're like keep going keep going we're winning we're winning <laughs> um we should we should stay here tonight honey we should get a we should get a room in the casino and i want to go to the bathhouse and i've never stayed in a casino before this is fancy i'm so glad that we came to new york for christmas <laughs> But yeah, like the um, the uh, the 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 cocktail waitress goes by and like, how much of how much of rooms can we get a can we get a room for the night and and then we want to we want to go to the we want to have a bath we want to get a bath in the bathhouse. So, oh, certainly, certainly. Um, we can get you a room. Um, would you like to 
take your winnings and uh, we'll, we'll it get you set up and just take sort of ushers them off to get, uh, you know, change this pile of change like quarters and nickels and dimes and stuff into like ten dollars <laughs> um but uh yeah just kind of ushers them off to to the to the bathhouse but you're you know you're you're doing fine it's not you have plenty of um uh you could you could basically you could sit here and gamble all night with just you know quarters like spare change if you wanted to. All right. Well, yeah, I'm 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 just playing until I win a certain amount. That's my cutoff. Then I'm going to watch mm -hmm. the floor show, but with an eyesight of everybody else. Once they start going to the high stakes area, I'm going to filter in with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I, I think if, and also Leslie, if you're, I'm sorry, not Leslie, um, Amelia, if you're hanging out by the, by the bar, yeah, um, there are people that are getting sufficiently drunk. Um, oh. somebody, you know, is like, like hits on you. He's like, Hey, that's a nice yellow dress. You got there. Pretty yes, lady. it is. Isn't it? Oh uh, yeah. I like that. That's, uh, reminds me of, uh. What was that that show with the turtles? Uh, you kind oh. of remind me of her April April O'Neil. What the? Do you remember yeah, that one? I can see that the the intent was mustard though. Well, you've got a real pretty figure. Oh, aren't you the charmer? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I will not let him get close. Yeah, but he seems like he's getting sufficiently drunk. Yeah, and obnoxious. Uh, and yeah, they're kind of like you know the bartender's like, "Uh, would you like another water, ma'am?" Uh, yes, please. Okay, yeah. and uh, uh, just water, please. No, sure, sure. Are you waiting on someone or? No, I'm just. Uh... I was in we were invited and um uh, my friends are over there gambling uh my friend uh miss jones she uh, she said she felt lucky and was trying to get to the high stakes tables we'll see how it goes but i i'm more of a people person than numbers person so gambling isn't for me mm -hmm. but it's really pretty Really pretty. Oh, I'm What's glad your you're name? enjoying yourself. Oh, um, <clears throat> my, uh, um, my name is uh, Alavara. Pleased to meet you. Uh, you worked here long. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, well, I remember when it uh, when it was just a bathhouse. I've been here, ooh, uh, fifty years, I guess. It's, you nice. know, time gets away from you. Oh, yeah. When you're doing what you love, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I you know, I, uh, I'm i a people person, too. I, I like people. I like talking to people. Do they treat you well here? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, you've got a job somewhere to live? Oh, I, uh, I live down here. Um... Yeah, I, uh, I, I, we, we have rooms here in the casino. Yeah. Isn't it getting kind of cramped because there must be a lot of people working here? Oh yeah, it gets bigger and bigger all the time. They're doing mm -hmm. new construction all the time. Uh, I see. Yeah, Yunaga, she's uh It seems like she's always she always wants to add something. To the casino. Well, the bigger it is, the more people uh, she needs, and the more people, the more it needs to grow. So, I mean, it's one thing feeding off another, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah. Well, I mean, it's nice. It's a, it's a nice place to live. I, I like New York. Uh, I've never been to the surface, but I, I like it here. Uh, right now it's really cold up there, but uh, tell me when Unaga is, because she's the queen of spring, right? No, no, she's not the queen. She's Oh, she's, no. No, she's, I know she's spring court. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, she owns this whole casino, mm. right? Yes, she was, well, she was part of the, um, uh, one of the, the merchant's guilds. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, she built the bathhouse and then it became the, the inn and then it became the casino. And, um, and, how do the, uh, the rest of the court, like, uh, do they often come to the casino? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, there's always something, something going on. It's, uh. Like, uh, well, well she I mean, must they... be popular then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Popular, popular with, uh, with all the courts, really. And one of the richest, I, I suppose, or assume I should say, because I mean, this place, if, if your casinos are anything like the casinos on the surface, they bring in a lot of riches a lot but on the other hand a place like this can't be cheap uh, cheap to run so hmm. Hmm. yeah yeah i uh i am curious about that i wonder sometimes i wonder how much uh how much money ends up in our pockets versus how much money ends up in yunaga's pockets i mean yunaga's very wealthy she is she's very wealthy wealthy yeah but we you know we get paid well I think most of us are happy here. Well, as long as you don't feel the need to look for something else, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought about going back to Europe, but I, uh, I don't know. I, I've gotten used to it here and comfortable. You know, you know what they're saying: grass is always greener, right? But I do miss the forests. Yeah. Yeah, but we have forests here as well. That's not the same. No, no. sunlight. Mm. Mm. You know, I read some lyrics. Uh, one of my ex-boyfriends, he listened to a lot of 80s music. Uh, and uh, one of the lyrics was something like, why does it always seem like the world is something that happens somewhere else? Uh, and I think that, like, when you're here, you long back to Europe. But when you're in Europe, you probably will think back fondly of the time here and get restless and want to go back, so... Hmm. Probably something like that. Yeah, I haven't heard restless souls. Right. Well, not, I, I haven't heard that restless. song, but I like that. That's a good yeah. yeah, it's a nice philosophy, I think. So yeah. Hmm. Thank you for the water. Thank you. Yeah, and then he kind of like slips you a napkin with like has it's like if this guy's bothering you, I can you know. Get rid of him. Uh, yes, please. Yes. Yeah. So he, you know, he he kind of walks over to the guy and he's like, "Okay, well, that's gonna be the last one for you, sir. Sorry." And he's like, "Well, I'm just getting started. I, I was gonna, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing in the new year, you know." This is this. It's Christmas, kid. Kid, cut me off on Christmas. I've got nowhere else to go, and and then and then he kind of like signals for, you know, one of the um, like does just does one of these like a come here to to one of the um, like security kind of guys, mm -hmm. and then they just walk over, 
and um and kind of like put an arm around him and not not in like a um uh not like picking him up not like big guys but like um they both have samurai swords on them you know yeah. and then they kind of like and he's like oh damn it you know and like just walk him walk him out the door yeah friendly friendly but firm friendly but firm yeah very polite come on this way buddy yeah elves are um they're uh what do you call it um they're they're polite with their um polite but firm <laughs> yeah good to know good to know okay so um <clears throat> yeah i so i think eventually if you you know when you get a big enough pile of chips mm -hmm. going correct mm -hmm a pit boss comes by and he's like oh miss um i heard that you're interested in the high stakes tables i guess i certainly am I mean, you're looking for yunaga yeah i i had uh i was at a casino uh above ground and uh playing with this guy who told this wild story uh and of course then i didn't believe but Come down here and I see this magnificent, magnificent. I and he, and he was speaking about how how sharp and everything Unaga was, and such a, such a canny opponent and everything like that. And I'd mm. like to try my hand against her. Oh, so you're a, you're a gambler. Mm. Uh, when I can, I'm pretty busy normally. But when I, but when I, when I do do it, I like to do it. Yeah. Well, we can uh, we can surely accommodate you. Um, mm -hmm. The uh, the private game isn't until later, mm -hmm. but I can take you to a higher limit table if you like for now. Uh, what what time is it now? Uh, say that it's getting later. You know, like eight or nine, like eight thirty. So you still uh, have a little bit of time to kill, but yeah, I'll kill a little. I'll kill a little bit of time. I, I really want to like. Uh, I'm. If I can get a little more chips, I'll get them together on that. But then I want to be rested and be ready at my sharpest when I'm when I'm at the at her table. Would you like for me to get you a room? How much did I cost? I don't want to spend I don't want to spend a lot of money on the uh, the uh, the room. Oh, uh, twenty ducats, which is uh, from what I've been able to gather now is that high, low, whatever. Oh, it's like, it's it's pretty affordable. To say that it's only like, um, uh, like fifty dollars, you know, in um, in U.S. currency, you know. Okay. Uh, like the, yeah. Uh, no, I think it'd be all right. I'll I'll probably just sit and watch the show or just watch people. Um. Uh, uh, you know, it's always fun to watch people when they're gambling, you know, and they do some of the craziest things. Uh, but, you know, who, who knows, at the other table, I might end up playing the whole like the, like the time until it's time to play at her table. But uh, but I'll probably play for a little while and then just sit back and do a little bit of people watching, you know, see what outrages, you know, what people's routines are, you know, the you know, superstitions are, that sort of thing like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is it your first time here? First time here, I didn't. Even, I, I really, I didn't even believe it existed. Oh, oh, well, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's kind of a, it's a big anniversary. It's, it's like, it's New York's four hundredth birthday this year. Yes, you know yes, I do know that. Yes. Well, if you're interested in the ball, you, you could, uh, if you want to dance or anything like that, you let me know if there's anything that, uh, that I can do for. If you want to take oh, a bath, where, where? if you want to go to the bathhouse. Yeah, okay. Oh. Uh, hmm. We've got a few hours before the game starts. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh let's see here. Maybe you check out the bathhouse, I'd be if someone's interested in that. Hey, what well, I'll I'll do the uh 
the ball, maintain my, I'm not, I don't tell him that, but to maintain my anonymity, uh, I'll, and then uh, let you folks check out the bathhouse. Yeah, I'll take a look at the ball. I'd like to go for the ball, go to the ball for a little while. And that's that's a good idea. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Certainly. And that's a lovely dress. It's a, it's a very nice dress. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, should we, do you want to turn in your pile of winnings? Or... Uh, can they hold it? Mm -hmm. Certainly. Okay. Well, let's just have them hold it all before the game. I'll go, go back and grab, grab them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have them brought to me with them, too. Yeah. So he, you know, he motions for another one of these kind of like, mm -hmm. these security guys just seem to like blend in to the woodwork. It's like mm -hmm. they just motion for one of them and then they kind mm -hmm. of walk over and then it do, you know, he pulls them aside and he's like, take the, take the chips. This one is, you know, if she's going to the to the high stakes game, I'm going to take her to the ball. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. And then he, you know, takes your pile of chips. Right. I'm, assuming gives, I'm, I'm assuming he gives me like a, a slip of paper for redeeming them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he like walks back to the, towards the cage, and mm -hmm. then and then pulls out, you know, a, like comes back with a piece of of vellum with this, you know, the, the amount, and it has the like the a stamp on it. Yes. Yeah, got it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So he. He uh, takes you, takes you off, and then walks you further down into the mm -hmm. casino and towards a ballroom. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, inside the uh, the ballroom, um, <clears throat> there's more of these um, uh, instruments, you know, kind of playing themselves. And then there's all these uh, like uh, rich. Um, there um there's like all these rich kind of elvish people that look like mm -hmm. some of them look almost like more yeah. like nobility or something you know like mm -hmm. they're it's like one of those um mm -hmm. like a debutante kind of mm -hmm. ball thing or mm -hmm. whatever um and uh and everybody's wearing their masks but you also see there's like um there are different types of like elementals here like there's you see like water elementals and fire elementals and um uh there's the fairies and um they're all kind of like congregating towards like you see that the the fire elementals sort of seem to be more sticking to the summer court people mm -hmm. and then um like shapeshifters and um but you're not seeing you uh not really seeing that many humans okay but yeah you so i think if you're all kind of staying within um you know within eyeshot of each other then you see yeah corinne get walked off but it doesn't look like she's in distress or anything she's just kind of you know, walking with this I'll guy. I'll go the check the ball out. If mm -hmm. she's going that way, I'll go that way too. Just wander along. Yeah. Um, so yeah, same thing. Like, you know, you're you're kind of wandering down this hallway and then you see, you know, in this kind of elaborate ballroom mm -hmm. and, and it's, it's pretty elaborate. Like it's a big ballroom and then there's more of these kind of like magical architecture of these trees that are you know growing these glowing bulbs and stuff and more of the the string instruments playing themselves and people dancing and but it's very very you know elaborate very high she she um, kind of nobility types Lots of glowing stuff like glowing mm -hmm. mushrooms and uh mm -hmm. you know fireflies sort of flittering around these uh 
flowers and stuff. What? Uh, yeah, so I'm dance... trying not to goggle. What sort of dancing to... is, is going on? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, um, they're doing uh, trying... like like ballroom dancing. You know, they're like the. Um, it's not the the songs aren't. It's not like '80s music anymore. It's mm -hmm. um, what do you call it? Like classical, like um. Uh, Chopin or something like that, you know, like waltz and so so waltz and stuff like the show. They're they're not going back to doing pavans and stuff like that or anything like that. Well, yeah, like pavan, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, but it's like um, a, mm, what do they call it? Not ballroom dancing. Um. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess sort of sort of like ballroom dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lawrence Welk. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between like a pavan? Like what that's um I mean we're talking world. middle ages, you know, the two lines of couples and um you possess yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. You possess, you know, possess, project. Yeah, where they're like twirling around down the there. hall, and then you'll turn and you know do all that sort of stuff like that. So, right, I'm trying right. to get on one of the. I should be able to get on one of those, you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, I might just grab have a guy, uh, uh, and uh, when and one of the starts, it's like, I've never done this. Can you show me how to do it? Oh, absolutely. You know, and th but this they um uh kind of grabs your hand and then leads you. Um, but I think I want to make you do a um, either athletics or dex. Dex. <laughs> because it's kind of, it's kind of elaborate, like the steps and stuff. And then he's trying it's... to like twirl you around. Yeah. And... Well, I'm a little clumsy right at first, but I, I managed to keep up 58 out of 60 for the decks. Yeah, so it's like you kind of stumble on your feet a little bit as he you know, twirls mm -hmm. you and stuff, but then you sort of get the motion of this, how mm -hmm. this dance goes, and mm -hmm. it's it's nice, you know, um, and then, but you, so you do, um, you do see that they're, for the first time, you see some of these ghostly sort of servants walking around holding trays of like canapes and stuff and like champagne flutes um, and then kind of going around and um, but acting like a, you know, a, a servant, not like a guest. But uh, the, uh, the trays and the canapes are not ghost trays and ghost canapes. The things no, are actually, yeah. right. They're they're like holding up a physical tray yeah, of yeah. like canapes, you know, and champagne flutes. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'd like, yeah, Dr. Yeah, Park. May I do? I, I mean, I'd like to follow Corrine into the um, into the ball. I was interested in the idea of um, some dancing. I didn't ask whether it was actually dangerous for my um, mental health to mm. dance. Mm. I sh I should have done, but now I'm I don't know. I'm here. I'm I'm gonna. Can I get in and can I sort of find myself doing a little dancing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Again, I think I'm gonna make you do either decks or athletics to just to follow because it's like like line dancing, you know, where if you don't know what you're doing, then you get, then you like bump into somebody and you look like an asshole. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Oh, I not... mean, do I have any familiarity with line dancing from my past? Anyway, I'll try the decks because I think like the good thing about line dancing, it doesn't actually require much coordination as long as you just follow the patterns, which um, everyone does. But my role is 22. Is that an extreme success with what's Dex your, 40? What's your uh, 22 if you want to burn to luck? Um, yeah, what the heck? To luck. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, 
you, you know, you've danced with girls before and it's not that, you know, it's not that elaborate. Um, it just, it's, it's something that you haven't done in a while, but you, you know, yeah, you like, you're, you, you get the moves down and you're <laughs> a big man, right? You're like, what, like six, six foot something dancing. Yeah. yeah dancing with the, the, but you look very elegant. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm I'm watching and once I see how it's done, I'll I'll start. I'll mm -hmm. just like start dancing. And I got a 56 out of I believe my dex is I'm going by dex. Uh 50. Shit. Um I'll just fumble a little, a little bit. Uh, I just kind of knew with this. I'm not very good. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. So, it, you know, you like bump into a couple and they're like, oh, just kind of. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I, I've, I'm from topside. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. And 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 then they, they kind of, you know, walk off the dance floor like, oh, what a name. Or just say something <laughs> that's like, you haven't it's like from some some old movie or something like the way they talk mm, i'm used to it how crude what a crude, crude man um <laughs> yes yeah, so so you're all just kind of dancing in the ball i'm like just it. taking pictures <laughs> yeah um this will be used as blackmail later actually yeah uh amelia do you want to give me a stealth yes i do want to give you a stealth and that is uh 23 out of 60. oh yeah no problem um yeah so you're getting some good pictures <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah I'm filling up my memory card with mm. weird things and uh, pictures of my friends dancing with what I would say is fairy creatures. Yeah. And then um, you recognize a, uh, like a, a supermodel. There's there's a there's a, a a model in here that you recognize. It's uh, Emily Ratajkowski. She's like dancing with these. Um, or or no, when everybody sorry everybody has their masks on. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. But I recognize her. She looks like, like you're pretty sure that you recognize this model. Like you know who who this is. I will take maybe a, a tattoo picture. or something. Yeah, like you notice the tattoo. You're like you're like yeah. that's. I know her. I have taken pictures of her before when she was, you know, didn't have makeup on and she was walking her dog and she, and yeah. I've seen that tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I sold that picture for a lot of money. Yeah. Or not, uh, not as much money that I, like I intended, but it was, it paid my rent for that month. Yeah. It was gone, but I got like a thousand dollars for it. <laughs> Uh, uh snap a picture and like scoot in behind some people if someone saw me that's the trick always be on the move <laughs> yeah so um <clears throat> i think um anybody that wants to can give me a uh what do they call it? It's not, it's not listen. Um, oh, observation. Yeah. Sure. 22 yes, again. Yeah. So Ooh, that's a definite success. That's a failure. Failure. I'm not very observant, uh, sadly. I will not spend 14 to. Yeah, nope. I'm not spending that much luck. Nope. Mm -hmm. I don't have Yeah, it. I've got a hard success. Um, so yeah, you hear like a couple kind of oh, talking and then they're, they're talking about how, 
you know, how these, these balls like keep getting more and more elaborate, you know, and then they're like, well, where's Yunaga? What, what could, you know, what could be keeping her? And, um, like the, um, if she's truly making some kind of a, a power play and all this royalty that's here, you know, where is, where's is Yunaga? Um, and you're, and you're not, not seeing anybody that quite fits the description of um of Yunaga. Um <clears throat> so but you're all just kind well, of are you all just kind of hanging out here like in the ball? Mm -hmm. I presume. I mean if she was described as someone 60 years old, then I would have expected some she's wearing some glamour to look younger and prettier. I mean if one follows the logic of this crazy world. Mm -hmm. Um so I'm I'm mm. uh, basically I'm not trying to get too close to anyone. I'm not um, attempting for any romance here, because I think romance with the fairy world is something which um, I believe various fairy tales advise against. Let me think. Um, uh, is that a good or a bad thing? Yeah, bad thing. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but they look nice on your arms. <laughs> Well, you know, maybe you just have a child with them, and then they swap it for a, um, yeah. a changeling Change, I mean. later. Yeah, yeah. What could, uh, what could go wrong? <laughs> Normal um, women just won't be the same. Yeah, <laughs> the the food will taste like ashes in your mouth, and you'll have to come back. And, um, yeah. So yeah, they, eventually they don't have to tempt me with that. <laughs> um, ev eventually, though, as you're all kind of dancing and stuff you know mm -hmm. and then they keep trying to feed you like they keep trying to bring you glasses of champagne and food and uh different stuff and and then there's an elaborate spread you know there's like um a buffet of of all kinds of like of fruits and stuff that you don't recognize mm -hmm. and uh like just kind of nice little like they have like a chocolate fountain <laughs> it's nice with all the fruit and stuff oh um, i want the chocolate fountain but with melted cheese and nachos yeah and tacos mm. um yeah. and <laughs> so eventually though this um the these these uh this woman comes in and you're pretty sure that it's yunaga just like by her description and by um by the fact that she has all of these kind of retainers like walking along side of her and she is she's limping she's like she's like tr trying to hide a a pretty nasty limp um and you know she she like comes in and starts kind of milling around with the guests and um and yeah, but you can tell that they're kind of like, to like, oh, what you know, like, what happened to your, what happened to your leg or, um, whatever, you know, like you can just tell by like the, the kind of the conversation, like how their their body language. Hmm, I'm observing them. Uh, she seems to be in a little pain and not excruciating because otherwise she wouldn't be here. Yeah, I... Dr. Park, um, with your like hard, hard observation role, it's you say that you you look, you know, she's like somebody is like talking to her, and then she you see her like pull up her, you know, her dress, and then she has a huge swollen ankle, like it looks like she um twisted her ankle. Yeah, and she's like, point. She's like, well, you know, oh, it's nothing. Just twisted my ankle. But I won't be dancing tonight. How close is it getting to midnight? Yeah, getting getting closer because. Uh, yeah, you've been, you know, you've been doing this for a while. Um, ooh, uh, do you need to, do you need to go, Leslie? Uh, so, yeah, might as well go now. It's like three, six. Yeah, I'll put it on pause. 
be back probably 10, 15 minutes at the latest, but more like 10. I just need to get her medicine and get her food on. Yeah. Okay. Let's take, take a bio break.